Yo, what's good, Gear 413 here back in today, and today, guys, as you guys see on your screens, Forzathon is still currently grayed out, saying coming soon. I can click on it as much as I want to, nothing happens except for a little, nope, th this is still grayed out, you can't do anything. But as you guys see, it does say coming soon, and according to Forza, it is going to be coming very, very soon, as next week, we should be seeing the release of the first Forza Thon event for Forza Motorsport 7, which I am so excited about because I've been wanting this next Forza Thon to be happening since like September when the game came out. I was hoping for a day one Forza Thon, but unfortunately, it did not look like we were actually going to get that. But instead, they were going to hold off until the Xbox One X release day. So, what I do know, though, about this Force Thon is I do know the first three rewards. I do not know if there are any more, or if three rewards is, like, special for this one. Maybe the next one's going to have less or more. I don't know any of that. I don't know what the events are going to be, except I do kind of know one of the events for one of the rewards. And I will get to that here in a little bit. But the first reward that you can get is the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Forza Edition, which guys, again, it's a brand new Forza Edition. Hopefully, it will be at least on par. I think with the uh, with the current Forza editions, like the uh, the VIP ones, it would be very nice to have something that was on par with those. Because currently, when I'm playing the game and I'm trying to grind out credits, I am going after using that Chevy Camaro because that is going to give me the most amount of credits. And I would like something else besides just that one car. Uh, because, like, for example, I wanted to use the Nissan GTR today. I was playing a little bit of Virus, which is a brand new uh, game. Although, it's, I think it's been in previous Forza games, but it is finally here in Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, I was just playing a little bit of that today. And, of course, you don't get as much credits if you use the Nissan GTR as you do if you use the Camaro. So it was kind of like, oh, do I use the Camaro just to get that little bit bonus at the end? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm hoping that it is a little bit more on par. It'll be very interesting to see what they do with a brand new Forza Edition car that is yet to be released. Then the next reward, I'm a little bit surprised at this one. Because we just got this car introduced to the game as a locked car, being the 1995 Nissan Nismo gtr lm and if we go ahead and scroll over here to nissan for me and down because i did buy this the first week the game came out the 1995 nismo gtr lm my production run number is 14,258. they released these as a specialty dealer car not too long ago i like you know the start of the game so why are they giving it out again now it's kind of like I feel like what's happening with it is very similar to what happened with the 1994 Sylvia K's at the beginning of Forza Horizon 3. They had four launches for this car. And I wasn't able to actually sell them for like a decent amount of money until the end of the game when I actually sold all like four of them for like 20 million a pop. It, it was crazy. It was crazy. So that is one car. And then finally, the last reward is going to be the astronaut driver year so the question is do i sell this or do i not because i mean it is a cool car uh, i'm debating it that's really going to be up to you guys if you want to sell it or not because it is still worth quite a bit of money so if you guys do go ahead and sell it i think you'll pull in like 300 some on thousand uh of course i can't sell it from here i can only auction it or remove it which is one of the poor features about the specialty dealership I don't really like that that much. I feel like you should be able to sell every car to the game or auction every car. Because a lot of cars you can't even auction. And I find that bizarre. I do find that bizarre. But as I was saying earlier, the first reward, the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Forza Edition, we do know kind of what you have to do in order to get this car. As I was scrolling through the achievement section for Forza Motorsport 7 after the uh, update that occurred today, and I did get a glimpse at a little Forzathon achievement. And it said, simply complete all the challenges to receive the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And it was just sort of like, 
Bummer. I wish they would have put a little bit more information into it. I checked again earlier, and it since has been deleted. So it's kind of weird how, you know, it seems like Forza is keeping Forza Thon for Motorsport 7 a little bit hush-hush, very secretive, unlike they did in the past Forza games, as, shoot, I'm going to be making three videos tomorrow about the upcoming Forza Thons for Forza Horizon 3, because I have every single Forza Thon that is going to happen, every single event, all the way up through, like, February 2nd. That's insane, and uh, yet, we don't even have the first week of Forza Motorsport 7 fully wrapped up and underway. So, and that's next week. I don't know, guys. I'm really interested to see how Forzathon actually ends up going ahead and working for us in this game, as it is going to be fun, especially now that they have added the brand new uh, game-type hoppers, including Tag, uh... Pass the it, I think is what it's called. Keep the it. Uh, virus. And I think there's another one that I just can't remember off the top of my head. It would be very interesting to see a few more of these uh, events coming into the game. I, I would even like to see some new maps. But of course, you know, oh, multiplayer is currently unavailable. Yeah, well, I can't show you guys that. I was, I was hoping to. But anyway, though, I think that's what I'm going to go on and wrap it up for today. I'm getting tired, guys. Some of my words are starting to spill into multiple words. Like, go ahead. I was, I was going to trying to say go ahead, but it, it's because it's 2 a.m. right now and I'm trying to record a video. But like I said, this is where I'm going to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413. And as well, guys, if you want to, Go ahead, let me know which car you are most looking forward to seeing coming to the game in Forza Motorsport 7. As, honestly, my favorite car so far that has been added is the Alfa Romeo Quadra Feligia Giulia. I think that's what it is. No, it's the Giulia Quadra Feligia. And, honestly, there are so many cars that I want to see come to the game that I cannot list them. As well, though, if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us. Because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.